Hey, Giddy Gangsters. It's Michael Capato in Detroit. And looky what I have. A package from Giddy. And I'm giddy about these. Because I actually was the guy that suggested them. These are the new CB Giddy Giddy Bucker Metal Covers. And a couple of weeks ago, I had posted to the Friends of CB Giddy page asking if there were anything for the Giddy Buckers besides the wooden covers. And um, Ben said, no, but you gave me an idea. So here they are, and I am so grateful. First, all of them come with the little wooden ring to put around it. And here they are. And I got to tell you, this package, this, these are heavy. So I'm excited. So they come in multiple colors and styles. This is copper. You can see. This is the brass. Substantial. And then two of these are aluminum and two are stainless. And it's actually hard to tell. These are, they kind of need some polishing up. I'm assuming the lighter ones are stainless. They're a little shinier. And then these, I think, are aluminum. And they're, again, they're pretty heavy. Very exciting. Um, honestly, one of the reasons I'm extremely excited about this is I'm going to show you the guitar that actually sat on my bench and then under my bench for about three years. I did this really interesting technique, which I'll show when I show the guitar. But I fell out of love with the box. It's one of those thick Camacho boxes. And I know a lot of people like elect making electric guitars out of them, but I tend to like resonant electroacoustic guitars. So I did this technique, made this really beautiful looking guitar, and just kind of got bored with it at that point. Didn't know how to finish it. Wasn't sure what pickup I wanted to put on top. Um, I tried gouging or grinding into or routing on one of the Comancho boxes to drop a, a pickup in and their MDF and the box pretty much exploded. So I put this aside and when the Giddy Buckers came out, I was really look excited about a nice small surface mounted, um, surface mounted pickup. The trouble is the only thing we originally had were the wooden things and I really, this guitar ended up having a lot of shiny chrome on it. And the wooden block, the wooden cover just didn't cut it for me. So when I got the Giddy Buckers, I knew I wanted to do something. And I wanted a metallic cover. But something similar to this. Not one of the arched ones that some of the other manufacturers sell. But just the same sort of principle. So this actually sparked me taking a guitar that's been sitting around gathering dust and finishing it. So the first step was to sand each of these and I mounted them using the masking tape and super glue trick to a block of wood so I could move it. And I started with 250 grit and I worked my way up through to 1500 grit sandpaper. And what I did is I sanded in one direction, one grit, and then I rotated it and did the next direction. And I kept doing it until I got to the 1500. So the brand of polish I used was called Blue Magic and I just got it at an auto parts store. I was looking for a different brand. I think it was called Flitz and they didn't have it, but this said that this is very similar in that it can polish fiberglass, aluminum, plastic, and stainless, and all the different metals, which is the same thing recommended for flits. So I just loaded it up on the polishing disc, and I just started buffing away, and I have had no experience in this in the past, so I just kept doing it until it got shiny. And as you can see, there's definitely a big difference between the shiny and the natural side. And it just got better with each pass. 
And now I'm doing the second one. And honestly, I can't recall which was the aluminum and which was the stainless on here. But they both take polish fine. So then I switched to a felt pad and I just went over it a few more times, basically just to get the excess polish off more than anything or get some of the excess polish in. So I just wiped off the excess with a towel and you can see it's noticeable. They're both shinier. So here's the uh, befores and afters of polishing the pieces. So this is the, um, I'm assuming the thinner one's the aluminum. So this is how it was when I um, unboxed them. Actually, I did try to hand polish these two, so they actually me are a bit shinier. And I tried some other things before getting the uh, metal polish. And then this is um, after polishing. And you can see it's definitely, uh, I don't know how hot the camera, but it's definitely more shiny. And then this is the heavier metal, which I'm assuming is the stainless, and again, this is how it was, and this is how it is. And I'm gonna admit, I've never metal polished before, and I've never especially done it with um, the Dremel attachment like this, so I probably could do a better job, and some of you may even be able to get a fully mirrored finish with it, but um, practice makes perfect. I think the biggest tip was sanding these starting at the lowest grit um at 250 and working my way up to 1500 with to wet dry sandpaper and going in the opposite direction starting one way then rotating it and and going the other so this is it this is the guitar that inspired the uh asking about these giddy bucker covers you can see it's got a lot of nice shiny metal now the technique very quickly is called acrylic flow painting. And I'm gonna do a separate video on this. I actually shot a lot of the footage with this guitar, but some of it was corrupted. So I'm gonna to have to do another one. Um, it's gonna be a while because it literally takes like a month for this treatment to cure and be done. It's not hydro dipping. What you do is you take cheap dollar store acrylic paint and you put each color into a separate container and you mix in white glue or Mod Podge or acrylic matte medium or gloss medium, and you mix each one in and mix it together. Then you take a red Solo cup and you pour each, each color into the cup and sort of what pattern you think or what the, you, you want to do. Then you take like a coffee stir and you stir it. And you can also add something like silicone spray or olive oil or baby oil, or they even show on YouTube using like sex lube, and add a few drops and stir that in, and that'll cause the patterns sometimes to form random dots. Then you take your main cup, you dump it over, you swirl it around, and you let the paint flow. And I did it in a big Rubbermaid container that I could cover so that I could do the top and the bottom box so it went down the sides and that I could do the fretboard. And you just let that paint flow slowly over over the period of a couple of weeks in that container. And eventually it'll stop flowing and then it cures. Like I said, it can take like a month or more for it to finally dry. And you have this rock hard finish and doing it over a base coat. And it's totally random and organic, especially if you have, like on the bottom, if you have the uh, oil where it causes it to move the paint colors. And I will do a separate video. I'm going to do another box of this very shortly. So that's it, Ben. Uh, I just, again, thank you for these covers. This guitar is going to be fantastic when I finish setting it up. Um, I went with the aluminum, the thinner for this. I could have used either, but I think I did a better polishing job on this one. I'm sure with more patience and more practice, they both would have been mere shiny, but this is perfect. So that's it, and um, happy building with the Giddy Buckers and these new really awesome metal covers.